The well takes approximately 25 days to drill. After the well's been drilled, the drilling rig will move off location and we move in the completion equipment. The completion equipment consists of the fracturing fleet that we have behind me. It includes the pumps, the sand cans, and also the water uh, containers in order to deliver the water to the frac pumps, then in order to where we can deliver that downhole to fracture stimulate the well. What I'm holding here is a spent perforating gun. This had just recently come out of the hole after being pumped down to the bottom and at a selected depth. We've ignited the, uh, sent an ignition source through an electrical source through the wireline cable down to this piece of the tool. And as soon as this reached the depth that we wanted to, we can set off those charges. And the charges here that you can see where the perforations have already come out, penetrates the production casing into where we can produce the oil from the formation. The stability of the ground is not affected due to actions that are occurring 10,000 feet below the earth. The fractures that we're creating down there are uh, micro fractures in the grand scheme of things. These are the pumps that we're actually uh, pumping the fluid down hole. So the pumps are actually taking the fluid from atmospheric pressure and increasing the pressure on the fluid to roughly five to 6,000 PSI. And that's pumping the fluid down the wellhead and all the way down into the formation and fracturing the formation and actually opening up the fractures about 10,000 feet below the surface of the earth and allowing the sand and profit to be carried into those fractures to open up the low permeability formation so it can produce into the wellbore. On average, we're doing about 75,000 barrels of fluid per well. The water that we're utilizing is actually coming from local sources. We are trying to reuse our fracturing fluids to where we're trying to reuse produced water. Uh, we've actually done one fracture stimulation job where we reutilized 50% produced water, and we're trying to get back to 100% to where we're not using any fresh water resources. The produced water here is mainly salt water, so it's just high chloride content salt water. You will get a little bit of uh, gore back from the fracturing fluid, which uh, does come back in the fluid. There is no radioactive fluids that are coming back currently in the Bakken area. Uh, when we're actually disposing of fluids here in the Bakken, we're actually pump pumping them into formations that are well separated from the usable quality water to where the usable quality water is separated by roughly 2,000 to 3,000 feet minimum from the actual injection zone. Over the past 10 years, the evolution of the oil and gas industry in the United States has drastically changed by the effects of hydraulic fracturing. They've allowed us to produce from rocks that we never before deemed would be economic. And we also believe that this could change the whole energy future for the United States, both on the oil and natural gas sides. Mm -hmm.